Have you ever stopped to think about the humble cardboard box? It's an object so ordinary, yet so essential to our daily lives. From delivering online orders to packing up for a big move, cardboard boxes are everywhere. But how are these seemingly simple yet incredibly versatile objects made? Let's peel back the layers, quite literally, and dive into the fascinating process of not just a box, the art of cardboard creation. Welcome to the History of Simple Things where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Before we get into the nitty-gritty of box making, it's worth understanding where cardboard comes from. Cardboard, specifically corrugated cardboard, was invented in the mid-19th century as a lightweight yet strong packaging material. The key innovation was the addition of a wavy inner layer, or fluting, sandwiched between two flat sheets of paper. This structure provides exceptional strength while remaining lightweight, making it ideal for a wide range of uses. The journey of a cardboard box begins in forests. Most cardboard is made from a combination of virgin wood pulp and recycled paper. Virgin pulp is derived from softwood trees such as pine and spruce, which are harvested sustainably to ensure minimal environmental impact. Recycled paper is added to the mix to reduce waste and create an eco-friendlier product. These raw materials are sent to a paper mill, where they're processed into large rolls of craft paper. At the heart of every cardboard box is corrugated cardboard. This material is made in a facility known as a corrugator plant. Here's how it works. First, the rolls of craft paper are fed into the corrugator machine. This massive machine can stretch the length of a football field and operates at astonishing speeds. The machine heats and moistens one layer of paper, then presses it through a series of gears to create the wavy fluting. Next, the fluted paper is glued between two flat sheets of craft paper to form a single corrugated sheet. The type of glue used is typically a water-based adhesive made from starch, ensuring it's both strong and eco-friendly. Once the layers are bonded, the sheet is passed through a set of heated rollers to cure the adhesive. Depending on the intended use, the corrugated cardboard can be single wall, one layer of fluting, double wall, two layers of fluting, or even triple wall for heavy-duty applications, each configuration provides varying levels of strength and durability. Once the corrugated sheets are ready, they're cut into smaller sections to prepare them for shaping. This step involves a die cutting machine that precisely slices the sheets into specific sizes and shapes. The machine also creases the sheets along fold lines, making it easier to assemble the box later. With the sheets cut, creased, and printed, it's time to turn them into actual boxes. Automated folding machines take over, bending the cardboard along the pre-creased lines to form the box shape. Flaps are glued or taped together to secure the structure. For certain box types, such as those used for heavy products, staples, or additional adhesives might be used for extra reinforcement. This process is surprisingly fast. High-speed machinery can produce thousands of boxes in an hour, ensuring a steady supply for industries ranging from e-commerce to food delivery. Every cardboard box undergoes rigorous quality checks before it's shipped out. Manufacturers test the boxes for strength, durability, and accuracy. One common test is the Edge Crush Test, ECT, which measures how much pressure a box can withstand before it buckles. This ensures that the boxes can handle the stresses of stacking and shipping. Cardboard boxes are not just practical. They're also one of the most eco-friendly packaging solutions available. The majority of cardboard is recyclable, and many boxes are made from recycled materials. After serving their purpose, used boxes can be broken down and reprocessed into new cardboard products, creating a closed-loop system. Moreover, 
advancements in manufacturing techniques have made cardboard production more sustainable. Many factories now use energy-efficient machines, water-saving technologies, and renewable energy sources to minimize their carbon footprint. As consumers, we can contribute by recycling our boxes properly, ensuring they don't end up in landfills. Cardboard boxes might seem simple, but they've revolutionized the way we transport and store goods. Their versatility extends beyond packaging. People use them for DIY projects, furniture, toys, and even artistic creations. Think about it. A cardboard box can spark a child's imagination just as easily as it can protect a delicate product during shipping. The process of crafting a cardboard box is a perfect blend of engineering, sustainability, and creativity. It's a testament to human ingenuity that something so commonplace can be so thoughtfully designed and produced. So, the next time you open a package or pack up for a move, take a moment to appreciate the cardboard box. It's more than just a container. It's a marvel of modern manufacturing and an unsung hero of daily life. And yet, the story of the cardboard box doesn't end there. It's a symbol of adaptability, evolving with modern needs and technologies. From the rise of e-commerce to the push for sustainable practices, the cardboard box has proven it's here to stay, shaping not only our goods, but also our future. Finally, let's not forget the role we play in this story. Every time we recycle a box or repurpose it for a new use, we're adding to its journey. It's a small act that connects us to a larger cycle of innovation, sustainability, and creativity, all packed neatly within the flaps of a cardboard box. When you see a stack of boxes on a doorstep or reuse one for storage, remember the ingenuity and effort that goes into crafting each one. These unassuming objects are far more than disposable packaging. They're carriers of stories, building blocks of commerce, and proof that even the simplest designs can leave a lasting impact on our world. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.